Heat four of five in the Elite Class at Glenny Gore, round five of the 2016 Elite Sprint Championship. Second heat of the day for uh, second in the championship, cart number two, Ian Blake, the former champion. On the front row with him, Stephen Docker. Harry Neal and James Hattersley are on row two. Daniel Healy and Stuart Martin on row three. Tyler Mays carrying a camera once again. Jack Harding on row four. Rin Norris and Darren Teal round out the top ten. And it'll be Blake getting the hole shot. It's a short run to turn one. And he's going to hold off. He's going to force Stephen Docker to go the long way round up to Spoon Corner. Can't see that happening. We're on board here with Stephen Brown. You're looking at Darren Teal. Ahead of us, Tyler Mays on his outside. And look, it's two by two pretty much all the way through Spoon Corner, apart from Pete O'Connor, who got spat out the side of the group there. Well, that didn't work. Leaden skies, it's still trying to rain, but it's just about holding off. And it's Ian Blake leading from Stephen Docker. And it's elbows out behind, and Mays is going to make it three wide. Oh, Steve Brown, and he's pushed Darren Teal out and off the track. Back on comes Steve Brown. Well, he's lost a lot of positions, and his championship rival is leading this heat from Docker, Harry Neal, Daniel Healy, James Hattersley, and already Brown's trying to pick up spots from the back of the field. But Blake leads them through. I can't see any rain there on that camera, not in the background of that one either. Harding over the kerb to get past Stuart Martin into Spoon. Hill the carousel. The track still looks dry and they are driving it pretty much that way as well. Lap time's just sliding off a little. So the track is a little bit greasy, maybe. Ooh. Yes, I think the grip's not quite there. Or oh, it's just started raining because Steve Brown is sawing at the wheel down the hill to keep on the bumper of Andy Cowell. So conditions are beginning to go away. Down the Dragon straight, slipstream on. Can Brown pick up a spot? And uh, everybody's sawing at the wheel under braking for Spoon. So it looks as though it's spitting at rain at the top of the circuit. The camera looks a bit dark in that picture. And those clouds in the distance are uh, darker than they look on that camera, I can tell you. Steve Brown picks off Andy Cowell and picks up a spot, which might be crucial to the grid for the final. Fighting tooth and nail with Justin Buck and Pete O'Connor. O'Connor went backwards at Spoon on lap one and he's trying to make up ground, but the field is spreading out ahead of him and pulling clear. Back on board with Brown. Crawford a bit crossed up coming onto the start finish straight and Brown straight through before turn one. Ian Blake in car two continues to lead and is pulling clear. Longman clashing with Tyler Mays in the midfield. This is lap four of what will be a nine lap heat four. Through carousel, Jack Harding looking at the back of Darren Teal in sixth place. And Teal is looking for a way past Hattersley in fifth. Sweeping downhill. Mays is holding off Ray Norris in cart number 10. David Longman and Ed Bars side by side Justin Buck and Andy Cowell fighting hard over what is 17th place 18 cuts on the grid for this for this heat and it's starting to rain once again you can see it in the uh, camera shot and Jack Harding has really got that move worked out at Spoon popping the curb on the inside Darren Teal coming back at him in the carousel. Norris pod to pod with Tyler Mays. And that's probably for about 10th place. Downhill. Track conditions interesting now. But look at the gap that Ian Blake has as he moves on to lap six with a 1.6 second lead over Stephen Docker. Looking comfortable ahead of Harry Neal. Daniel Healy, just clear of James Hattersley, who is under pressure 
from Darren Teal. And it is raining now as they go up to Spoon Corner. Squeal of tyres behind. Everybody's still on the track, it appears. Tyler Mays dives down the inside in a carousel. Brave in the conditions. Back on board with Steve Brown. He's moved up to 15th place. Looking at the back of uh, Paul Crawford. Darren Teal, Jack Harding still fighting hard. The slippery surface flag is out. I don't think they need to be told, to be honest. Jack Harding takes a look over his shoulder. I think he's queuing up Darren Teal for that move at the top of the hill again. This is the fight for sixth place. Is he going to try it once again? Yes, he is. And he gets it done. Will Darren have the opportunity to come straight back at him down at Carousel? Not if Jack can hold him off, but he can't. And he is through. How much grip is there down there? Well, there's a lot of water on that lens. Ed Bars picks off David Longman in Carousel. And moves through to 12th. Closing stages of Heat 4. No problems for Ian Blake, controlling the pace. 1.6 seconds clear of Stephen Docker. Steve Brown is caught up now with Ed Bars. And once again, Jack Harding is going through on Darren Teal and getting it done sooner. And that is definitely rain falling now. That's going to make Spoon interesting. So it seems as though it's actually raining at the top of the circuit and not necessarily at the bottom. But that just might be a trick of the camera. Stuart Martin now trying to find a way past Darren Teal. But there's not so much grip now down at Carousel. Lap times are falling. Or should I say rising. And speed is beginning to fall along with the rain. Will we see them starting to move over to the wet line? Well, you can hear the engine note has changed through Druids. So we're coming round to start the final lap and lap times now have dropped by three, four, five seconds a lap. Ian Blake continues to lead. It's now 2.8 seconds. It's a bit of a demonstration here from the uh, former champion. Look at the gap that he's got. He could easily fall off though in these uh, kind of conditions. It's a bit sideways as they turn up uphill. And once again, Jack Harding is trying that move in spoon and he's got it to work. But now there's not so much grip mid-corner. And James Hattersley might have a chance to come back at him around the outside. Yes, he will. But is there any grip down in Carousel? And it looks as though Healy is going to push past Jack Harding as well. So all those positions he's gained, he's in danger of losing in the final half lap. Darren Teal around the outside of Harding. All the way around into compression. And Steve Brown, and there's people on the grass again. That's Stuart Martin. Now, where's he coming back on? Oh, this could be a bit of a squeeze. Out of the final corner. The win for Ian Blake is 3.6 seconds ahead of Stephen Docker. Harry Neal, Dan Healy beats Darren Teal to the line. And Darren Teal has been penalised for cutting the course. So Jack Harding moves up to fifth. James Hattersley, Thomas Glyde, Steve Brown, Tyler Mays, and Peter O'Connor round out the top ten.